I'm Q Coach Shay. Welcome to Shake Week, round two. I got Bronwyn and Marissa with me here this week to help me out, and we are doing arms and abs. So I need you to grab a set of weights if you have them in the house, somewhere between two and five pounds, not too heavy today. If you don't have weights, that's okay. You can grab two water bottles, two cans of beans, two small kittens, two heavy bugs, whatever you got. Uh, get them out, or you can do it without weights. Maris Marissa's not gonna use weights today, so you're okay if you don't have anything. You guys ready to go? All right, let's do this. We're just gonna start by swinging it out. Arms across the body. Good, nice and easy. Think about separating your shoulder blades. Let's go four, three, two. Reach up side to side here. Plant your feet. Knees are soft. Breathe. You got four. Three, two, hold to your left. Reach all the way over. Inhale, exhale, switch. Big stretch, open up your rib cage. Perfect, come center. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, let it go. Wide stance, inhale, reach up. Exhale, let it go. One more time, all the way up. This time, flat back over, drop your head. Hello, hamstrings. Heels on the floor, bend your knees. And hips up. So there's no jumping today, bend your knees, hips up. You can do this barefoot like we are or with your shoes on. One more time. Good, soft bend of the knees, roll up, and hands to the top of your thighs. Just lunge to your right, take it over, side to side. Huh. Perfect, four, three, two, center, twist your shoulders down. Perfect, let's go four. Three, two, cat cow, center. Down two, roll up two. Good, inhale, down two, and up. Let's go two more times, just loosen it up. Suck your navel in as you roll up, open here, and then pull, roll your shoulders back for eight. Knees are soft, four, three, roll it forward. You know how I roll, we jump right in, we get to work, four, Three, two, one more time, reach up, inhale. Exhale, let it go. This time, clasp your hands, press up through the palms, grow taller, lean over to your left. And maybe tilt your chin up to the sky. Push through your right hip, inhale, exhale, switch. All the way up and over. Woo. Good, come center, clasp your hands, just open up your chest, give yourself a little pull. I'm gonna turn sideways. So while you're here, squeeze your shoulder blades together, chin up, inhale, exhale, chin to chest. Good, and then just swing it out. Give yourself a couple hugs. A little love in the morning, right? Feels good. Good, you got four, three, two. Awesome, shake it off. So you're gonna grab your weights to start. Little standing abs, and if you don't have weights, that's okay. Wide stance, soft bend in the knees, tuck your tailbone under, belly in tight. All you're gonna do is tip to the right, so you're gonna like shave your leg down, sorry, to your left, up and over. Good, so just pass the kneecap if you can. We're gonna go side to side, side to side. Keep the weights close to your body. And as you move, you wanna make sure that you don't twist, not yet, and try not to tip forward. So none of this, you really wanna feel that pinch between your rib cage and your hip bone. No reps today, no time. We're just gonna move through this circuit. We're gonna feel it out through the music. Good, let's go eight. You got four. Hold to your left. Take it all the way down and up, down. So you're just moving to your left. Try to get past your knee. Over, you feel it yet? Over. Four. Three, you're gonna hold it low, little crunches, over, over. Close that gap between your rib cage and your hip bone. Good, you got eight. Let's go four. Perfect, other side. Over, back to center. Woo. Easy, right? She doesn't even have weights, you feel it? Yes, she does. So if you're just starting out, no weights is fine. And then maybe you can come back and watch this video again, add some weights, make it a little harder, right? Four, three, 
Pull it over, little crunches. Go, go, go. Woo! Yes. Let's go for four. Three, just shift it out, side to side. Four, three, two, awesome, weights up. So close your forearms right in front of you. The weights are at your forehead. Bend your knees and just rotate to the right, to the left center, over center. While you're here, you're just moving your rib cage. You know what a lazy Susan is, right? It's that thing you put your spices on. You're, you're gonna imagine your rib cage is on one of those plates and you just go side to side. Perfect. Let's pick it up. Double time right here. Go ha, 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 ha. Abs in tight. And if this is tough for you, make it smaller. Maybe drop deeper in the legs if you want more of a challenge. Perfect. Four, three, two. Hold to your right. Hold. Elbows up. Pull your knee up to your chest. And then release. One more slow. Pull it up. Hold. So you want to get small. Crunch everything in and stretch. Here. Pull. And if this feels good, you can reach all the way up and back. Whoo! Get to check out my girls. They look so good! Pull. Yes. Pull. Awesome. Four. Three. We're going to add a twist. Elbows cross the thigh. Twist. Up. Twist. Yes. You got to find that balance on the standing leg. Four more. Beautiful. Three. Ah. Uh, two. Perfect, hold here. Come back to center, take the weights all the way up overhead and then bring them to your left hip. Take it the other way, slow. Woo! Good, again, slow and hold. Take it around, slow. So you're using your core to control. One more time, super slow, hold. Take it around, good, let's pick it up. It's over. Pull. If that's too hard, stay slow. You don't have to do what I'm doing. If you want, you add a twist right here, around. Bend your knees. Bend your knees. Woo! Keep it up. Ha! Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Remember, you're just here if that's all you can do. Woo! Around. Wrap, almost done with the standing section. Four, three, two, awesome. Bring the weights up to your left. Here we go, other side. Pull your knee in, tuck it in, reach. One more slow, up, good. Here we go, pull. So if you're watching me, and you shouldn't be, you should be listening because you're focused. You can see my legs wobbling. It's early in the morning. You're challenging your stability, your core, right? You're working your arms, your shoulders, your triceps, your biceps are engaging to pull the weight in. Abs are contracting to bring the knee up. Where are we at? Let's go four, three, add a twist. Elbows cross the thigh. Little rotation in the torso. Pull, whoo! Shoulders burning yet? Turn. You thought we were doing abs. We put it all together here. Ah, uh, let's go for four, three, two, one. Hold. Bring the weight around to the hip. We're gonna cut this short. Eight reps right here. Around, pull. Around, pull. Pull. Six more. Six. Five. Nice and tight. Four. Ooh. Nice. Keep it up. Two more. Up. Pull. Up. Pull. Last one. Up. Pull. Up. Ah, so good. Drop the weights. Good. Roll up. Give yourself a big stretch. Just reach over to one side. Open up the rib cage. Inhale. Press the palm back. Open up your chest. Ah. Good, come all the way around, big circle. All the way around, stretch other side. Tiny, tiny break. Press the palm back, look up. Inhale, exhale, all the way around, let it go. Right here, right here, right here, stay with me. Plant your feet, little circles back. 
So if you were with me in shake week round one, you're gonna remember this. No weights, nobody's got weights. Let's go four, tiny circles, double time. Circle, circle. All right, so you're right out to the side. Make sure you're not behind your body. So your shoulder blades are neutral and you're carving tiny circles in the air. Four, three, two, slow, roll it forward. Over, over. If you have to take a break, drop down, shake it off, but don't quit. You can't walk away from yourself. Over, over. You want tension from the armpit all the way out through your fingers, double time right here. Go over. You gotta keep it tight. You can't be like broken birdies, right? Nice and strong. All the way out for eight. Keep your core tight. Four, three, ready? You're gonna hit a tabletop. Smack it, smack it. Smack, smack. This is for my girl Jenna. If you're not watching today, I'm gonna tweet you, you gotta tune in. We used to do this in dance class. Huh. Huh. Do you guys ever do this in dance? No? My dance teacher loved doing this. And dancers have very long, lean, strong, beautiful arms, right? These guys are pros, by the way. Professional dancers behind me. I just pretend. <laughs> Does it burn yet? Harder. So you wanna imagine you're smacking a tabletop. Yes! Eight more, eight more! Eight, seven, six, ah, uh, four, three, two, hold it here, pulse it up. Go, go, oh my gosh. Tops of the shoulders and your triceps should be on fire. We're gonna burn it out here. Walk it forward, little relief. Keep tension, ha, ha, good. Four, three, just open, close, but keep it up. Open, squeeze. Oh, you thought that was gonna be easy, I know. Open, squeeze, open. So if your eyebrows are up here, let them go, relax your face. Four, three, two, one, reach out, let it go. Big stretch, uh, big stretch. If you're a guy, don't be afraid to move like this, it feels good. The camera guys will do it, right? Yes, four. Three, two, let it go. Inhale, reach up. Whoo, you're coming down to the floor. Take a second. If you need a towel off or grab water, now's a good time. We're gonna finish last 10 minutes on your floor. So grab a mat or a towel if you need it. You guys ready? We're gonna give our arms a tiny break. We're gonna start with abs. So flip over onto your booty. Roll all the way down. We're just gonna start with basic crunches. So hands behind your head, open up your chest. Pull your belly in and down, shoulders peel off the floor, little pulse up, release, up. All right, now I'm gonna talk to you. I'm not a huge fan of doing a million crunches. This is a great way to figure out how to engage your core, right? Exhale, squeeze, release. Do not pull on your head and don't feel like you have to thrust yourself off, off the floor. It's not good for your back. So just go easy, do it enough to where you feel that contraction. It should feel like a sponge wringing out water. And you wanna close the gap between your rib cage and your hip bones. Awesome, spine is neutral, but you wanna get it as close to the mat or the floor as you can. Good, four, three, two, awesome. Arms out at a 45, roll your shoulders down, we're coming all the way up. Exhale, up, so hold here. And then pull your belly in, rock off your sits bones, and you roll all the way back down. Okay, do your best, get as high as you can. Up, two, curl, down. Your shoulders stay off the mat. If you can't do that, go at your own pace. So if it takes you four counts to get up, that's fine. And if you find that your feet are hopping off the floor and you're using momentum, scoot over to the couch and slip your feet right under the couch. Flex your feet if you have to. That should give you an anchor. So up, two, down, couple more. Exhale, up. If you can't do this, go back to crunches. Good, up, two, down. Let's go, last one. Up, two, down, nice job. Pull your knees into your chest and rock up. You're gonna grab your weights if you have weights. And you can do this without. 
Right here. Weights at the chest, pointing forward. Rock off your sits bones. Turn your body to one side. Take it up and over. And twist. Here we go. It's up, twist, up, twist. I think this is easier if your feet are up. But that's just me. So try it if you want. You can always do one foot. A little more core stability. Up, whoo, up, twist, up, twist. You got four, three, tighter, smaller, side to side. Over, over your body, over, over. Make sure you've rocked off your sit bones. Uh, I went to CrossFit the other day and they made me do like 900 reps of this. So no crying. Don't complain. <laughs> Four, three, two, we're gonna slow it back down. Let's go. Up, ah, oh, keep going. This is where it burns. Four, three, two, ah, oh, so good. Drop the weights for a second, come up. Just release your lower back. Then look at your navel, curl back. One more time, flat back, open up the chest, inhale, exhale. Okay, come all the way down. Hands by your sides. You can tuck your thumbs under your tailbone. We're gonna give the upper body a break. Legs up. We're just gonna start with scissors, right? So navel down, you drop the right leg, and then you switch. My toes are shaking. One, two, one, two. One, if this is too hard, bend your knees. Tap your toe to the floor. So you're here. Or your legs are long. Ha, ha. If you want, curl your shoulders off the floor. You're almost done. We got about eight minutes of work. So stay with it, it'll go by fast. Four, three, two, legs up. Hug your knees to your chest. Ah, inhale, exhale. Hands back by your sides. All right, watch your weights. Make sure that you don't lay on them. You're gonna keep your legs at 90, shin bones parallel to the ceiling. Roll your shoulders back. Drop both legs over to one side. Try to keep both shoulders on the floor. Exhale as you come up. So the core engages to bring the legs back. And then you take it to the other side. Exhale. I'm gonna try to pick it up a little bit here. It's over, up. If you cannot, Keep that tempo with control. By all means, slow it down. Over. You're going back to the obliques here. We're working from the bottom up. Right? Over. Up. They look great. How you doing? Up. Over. Up. Good. Over. Up. Over. Good. You've got four, three, two. Nice job. Pull your knees into your chest and rock up. Okay. One more ab exercise with the weights. You're gonna love me. Arms out, bring your toes up. You can do this without. You're gonna shoot your toes out and pull your elbows back. So nice wide row working the upper back and then everything comes together, knees to the chest. Back, up, back. Lean back just a little bit, back. Good, so you pull. If you can't do that, you can do one leg at a time. Good, beautiful. So try to get those toes up a little higher here. Yes, she told me, she was like, Abs are hard. I don't know if I can do it. She's doing great. Good, awesome. Yes, pull just four, three, two, and that's it. Drop the weight. I'm gonna put mine to one side, flip over, maybe take a quick child's pose. Okay, we're heading into a plank series. Three more minutes of work. Listen up, I forgot to tell you, I'm doing a live Q&A after this workout, so go get your smartphone and tweet me, hashtag ask Shay, A-S-K-S-H-A-Y. That's enough talking, enough break. Let's go back to the plank. Ready? So on your toes, tuck your tailbone under a little bit and really suck your navel in. Your shoulders are right over your wrists. Your feet can be together or slightly apart, it's up to you. You're gonna take your right hand to your left elbow, take it down, switch. Here we go, pick it up, tap. So see how nothing else moves. I have to use my feet like rudders, right? I'm pushing through the opposite foot, charging energy down through the legs. Beautiful, keep going. Ha, everything's still, everything's still. Let's go four, three, two, one, hold. Take a break if you need it. We're walking down to the forearms. 
It goes down, two, up. Start with the right hand. Let's go. Down, two, up, two. So you're working your whole chest all the way down your arms. Again, hips stay steady, pointing towards the floor. Good. Down. Yes. So good, so good. Almost done. Down, two, up. Last one on this side. Down, two, up, two. Drop your knees. We're going to take a break on that. Roll your shoulders back, lift your toes. Rock over your kneecaps for tricep push-ups. Thumbs are four inches apart under the chest. Elbows point backwards. You lower down as far as you can. Exhale as you come up. Down, two, up, down, two. Exhale and squeeze on the way up. Inhale down, exhale up. If you can only come to here, that's totally fine. I'm gonna face you, watch. Up, two, hug your body. Elbows in, push, squeeze, good. So you should feel the inside of your biceps against your rib cage. Good, keep it up, four more. Whoo, down, two, up, two, down, two. One more, one more, right here. Down, two, awesome, sit back, stretch. Anchor your palms on the floor, roll your shoulders down your back. You should feel that pull under your shoulder, or under your triceps and your shoulder blades. All right, come back up one more time, walking plank, down to the floor. On your toes, on your toes, left side, left side. Down, two, up, two, down. Is this hard yet? Yes. Is it hard? Yes. Are you so glad you woke up this morning to come work out with us at Kinetic? Every day, every day, I'm here for you. What are we at, what are we at? We're gonna finish, let's go four more. Down, two, up, two, we got this down. Abs are tight, whoo! Arms and abs, arms and abs. Down, two, you got one more, one more right here. Down, two, on your hands, on your hands, feet together, breathe. Push through the floor, suck your navel in. We're gonna do 20 more seconds. Smile. Push back through your heels. Ah! Make noise, it's okay. <laughs> breathe, breathe. Oh my God, you got eight, seven, six, don't move. Four, three, two, whoo! Sit back on your heels. Right here, anchor your palms on the floor, toes together, knees apart, let your body fall between your thighs. Roll your shoulders down your back. Uh, and then just rock side to side, side to side. Was that enough for you or you didn't want more? That was enough. Awesome, you guys, inhale. And exhale, roll up, roll up through the spine. Nice job. Just take a seat, face me, cross-legged. A little stretch for the upper body here. Just take your hand up and over to your right. If that's uncomfortable for you, you can always open your legs or just bring them right in front of you. Inhale. Exhale, switch. So good, sit up tall. Hands are on your knees or the outside of your thigh. Twist, take a deep breath in, and just look at the wall to the side. Exhale, go a little further. Maybe look at the back corner. Inhale. Exhale, sit up taller and ring it out. One more time, inhale. Try to get all the way behind you. So good. Walk your hands out and down in front of you. Inhale. Exhale, roll up. Other way, one hand behind you, one on your thigh. Sit up tall, inhale. Exhale, just look at the wall. Inhale, exhale, back corner if you can. Good, one more time, deep, deep breath in, sit up tall. Exhale. Perfect, walk your hands out. Really reach. And roll up, inhale, reach up. Drop one hand behind you. Bring your elbow to your ear, sit up tall and push your head into your arm. So I back your head into your arm as you pull your elbow towards your ear. Fingers between your shoulder blades. Inhale, smile, exhale, switch. You did it. We made it together. Wasn't that fun? All right, open your arms, 
Bring one arm across, you loop the other one under, pull in and down, so active stretching. Don't just hang out here. Sit up tall, energy down through the sits bones, out through the top of the head. Inhale, exhale, and switch. This is it. So I'm gonna stay right here like a weirdo, and if you have questions for me, you gotta tweet them at me. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, let it go one more time. Deep breath in. Bring your hands to heart center, close your eyes, sit up tall and roll your shoulders down your back. Thank yourself for showing up this morning and doing something good for you. Last deep breath in. And exhale, let it go. Awesome work, you guys. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so I hope you, oh, I got tweets. You bring it to, come here, come here. <laughs> okay. Yes, okay. Steffi Social asks, is it more beneficial to lift before cardio or vice versa? Okay, so here's the deal. There's a lot of, um, if you do some research, it's very confusing because some people say you should do one before the other. It's really up to you, but this is, this is the thing. If you're doing cardio for an extended period of time, like not just for a warm up, your body is taxed and then you're gonna go lift and you're gonna sacrifice your form. So if you're lifting heavy, Right, and you're, it, it really depends. If you're super advanced and you've got a system that you love, then fine. Me personally, I prefer to go get my strength training on and then do my cardio after. That's, 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 Brown, it feels the same. What do you like to do? I do a little cardio warm up. Cardio warm up, exactly. Yeah, so if you can't hear Marissa, so if, if it's like a lifting day, Go do a quick cardio warm up, get your blood pumping, get your body moving, right? And then go do your, your strength training. Uh, if the cardio, you know, if you're breaking it up, what did I just say? <laughs> you gotta do it the other way around. I prefer doing the, the strength first. Okay, Lisa Elliott. Hi, Lisa. Um, asks, how much do you need to stretch before you work out? Is foam rolling enough? Foam rolling, foam rolling is definitely enough. In, mm -hmm. Hi. Foam rolling is definitely enough. Um, I like dynamic stretching, so stuff that moves. You're not holding for 20 or 30 seconds. It's a couple seconds in each uh, stretch, and you're sort of activating as you're releasing. You're getting rotation in your trunk, making sure that your spine is warmed up, your hips are open, hearts pumping blood to your muscles and your joints so that you're ready to work. Um, foam rolling is great, and a lot of people, I know a lot of programs that will do full 30 minute foam rolling before you even get to the workout. It's boring and it hurts, but it's good for you. So, uh, oh no, slide to unlock. Hi, it's live. <laughs> Eric Brody asks, what is your motivation to keep you going every day? Quickie, hashtag quickie. <laughs> um, that could be a motivation. <laughs> um, Honestly, it's like, it's you guys. It's my students and my clients. Um, a lot of you guys have, have like amazing, amazing personal uh, transformation stories, uh, personal goals that you've met, that you're trying to achieve. And the fact that you get up every day, sometimes at five or 6 a.m. to work out for nothing, just for yourself, is amazing to me. That you have the willpower and the strength, the efficacy to get up and do that, because um, you know, I get up at 6 a.m., but I'm making money. <laughs> so I just think that that really, really motivates me, and that's why I get up, because I want to be there for you, I want to be there to support you, and I'm just like you. You know, I was, uh, eight years ago, I was 30 pounds overweight, severely deconditioned. I was a dancer, but then I stopped, um, and I had never been to a gym. I got panic attacks every single time I went, and then something clicked for me and I went and I joined a program and I trained every single day for like a hundred days straight and it changed my entire life and that's why I'm here. So like, I get it. You need somebody to wake up and be there for you and motivate you and hold you accountable. So that's why I'm there. That's exactly why I'm here. Um, and you, Eric, I'm there for you because I love you. <laughs> Billy Morrow asks, what is your favorite slash the best exercise for your butt? Squats, squats with heavy weights, uh, I also like doing bridge with like um, uh, like a heavy barbell, right? Like this. But squats are my favorite exercise. And if you've got a good looking squat, you're like my best friend. If I can get you to squat perfectly, then I've achieved something good. Um, 
passcode, just kidding. So that's it, that's what I got for you today. Thank you so much for tuning in. Be sure to tune in tomorrow at 9 a.m. and every day this week for Shake Week, round two, tweet me, hashtag Shake Week, S-H-A-Y-K-W-E-E-K. -E -E and um, make sure you tune in, sign up to kinetic.com. We've got a whole bunch of other awesome videos in the books, so you can keep working out right now if you want to and check the schedule and come back here for our other Q Coaches live later in the week. I will see you tomorrow at 9 a.m. Have an awesome day. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>